If the patient comes with gastrointestinal bleeding, the bleeding can be from whether it is from upper gastrointestinal tract or it can be from the lower in gastrointestinal tract. If the patient has got upper gastrointestinal tract bleeding, then it could be due to mainly due to two main reasons. One is an ulcer disease. If the patient has got an ulcer, it can bleed. So we need to check for that by an endoscope and find out whether the ulcer is bleeding. Or if the patient has got cirrhosis of the liver due to alcohol or non-alcohol non and if he has got portal hypertension, he can have develop varices in the esophagus and stomach. That's, those are the bulging veins in the stomach and esophagus which can rupture after a certain time and can produce severe bleeding from the mouth. So in these two conditions, we have got excellent treatment by endoscopy. If the patient has got esophageal varices, we can treat it by endoscopic variceal ligation. Or if the patient has got uh, gastric varices, we can do the same treatment, not uh, banding, but we can inject a certain medicine into the gastric varices. But some certain times, we, ca we cannot control the bleeding by these methods. So we have another technique called endoscopic ultrasound guided coiling of the gastric varices. This is an excellent tool wherein uh, we can block the vessels and completely stop the bleeding. We have started it for the first time uh, maybe three years back and now we have more than 50 cases wherein we have got excellent results with that. The other uh, bleeding is from lower gastrointestinal tract. So this could also be due to two, three things mainly. So one is the, the patient has got cirrhosis, he can have varices, similar veins in the, in the large intestine which can rupture and uh, bleed. The commonest cause of lower gastrointestinal bleeding is hemorrhoids. So if the patient has got hemorrhoids, we have got very simple treatment like the, our surgeons do banding. That's a simple outpatient procedure where two, three uh, sessions of banding or injection sclerotherapy of the hemorrhoids it can completely cure the disease. The other uh, is the inflammatory bowel disease of the, of the bo inflammatory bowel disease wherein patient can present with bleeding. So all these things require a detailed evaluation by colonoscopy and other measures. Then we have the small bowel bleeding, if the patient can bleed from the small intestine wherein we have the capsule endoscopy wherein we can check the bleed where exactly is the bleeding and we have the double balloon endoscopy to stop the bleeding. Thank you.